hi welcome back to my channel this video i'm going to be filming like a feel good makeup so this is usually the kind of makeup that i do whenever i'm feeling a little bit low or just to you know like feel amazing <laughs> basically for me makeup is a therapy i enjoy watching um you know everyday makeup routines just trying you know like seeing other people try on makeup or me trying out new makeup products all these just excites me very much and also like whenever i'm doing this i instantly feel so good about myself and also i believe that if you feel good your day automatically gets better no matter what life throws at you it just feel like you're prepared i also have some new makeup products to try out which is always very very exciting so yeah guys without further ado let's get started so i have actually zoomed you a little closer so you can actually see how the makeup products sit and perform on my skin i've already done my skin care and if my skin looks a little bit red it's because i have just like you know shave my face and my face usually gets a little reddish whenever you know i've shaved my face and stuff but but need not worry i have already used like a calming cream and it is kind of settling down so it's going to get better okay so anyways guys starting off i'm first going to be using this smashbox uh primerizer i'm trying to finish this off because it's actually an older product and they've changed the packaging now I i've almost used half of it and i just want to like use this up this year and also this is like a really good product as well and it provides like nice hydration to my skin also i'm going to apply this around my eye area Okay, I feel like it was probably a bad idea to wear a puffer jacket. Okay, so next I'm going to be using this Farsali's Liquid Glass Elixir and again this is another product that I absolutely love. I don't know what's happening with Farsali right now. Uh I think they're kind of rebranding but yeah. But some of their products are really good even though they're expensive. I mean, look at the glow that it gives. Okay guys so I just removed my puffer jacket because it was making a lot of noise um anyways uh as you all can see my face it looks so nice and glowy and this is what I'm talking about this product is just so amazing and it also you know like makes my makeup look like glass um i don't know how to explain it but this product is really good moving on to foundation uh, so recently i haven't purchased like any new foundation and i was just thinking what foundation should i use something which is a little new and something i've not used on camera that much so i then remembered my lamer uh the soft fluid longwear foundation this one was my very first luxury makeup purchase and i was just over the moon because all the like top beauty youtubers at the time were raving about this product and it was and it is not it was but it is a very expensive product Yeah this was like my very first purchase I went to the store I think in Malaysia or Singapore I don't remember but yeah I went to the store and I got this and the whole experience was just amazing so I'm going to take almost like two pumps of the foundation this foundation is very skin like again it's a medium coverage foundation and the main reason why I like it is because I don't know there's something about this that you know your foundation looks better as the day goes by and that's the reason why I like it and oh my god it also smells so fresh so I'm just going to blend this with my brush first and look at that you guys it's so nice it's very dewy it's amazing I mean I wouldn't say that this is like a must have foundation because of course there are so many amazing foundations which you know you don't have to pay this much amount for but as i said it just holds a special place in my heart because it was my very first luxury purchase so when i first started my youtube channel i still remember i like literally beg my mom to uh, you know buy me like maybelline foundation or concealer that was my very first foundation and i was really happy and thrilled So at that point of time I never thought that you know I would be able to use luxury makeup most of us here things like oh my god that's too expensive like we are not able to afford it like you know I've heard my parents tell this like you know it's 
like luxury is something that we are not able to afford or anything like that and it feels really amazing when i'm able to buy luxury makeup products and use them like it just makes me feel amazing like i can't explain to you i don't want anybody to think that i'm a materialistic person because i'm not actually just like you know achieving that something you feel it is impossible for you or something that you can't do it and when you actually do it you know it just feels amazing that's it i think i was just rambling over there for a minute but anyways look at the finish look at my skin right now it looks so nice and glowy even though these are like expensive makeup products the quality in itself is also amazing and also i feel you know this lamer foundation is expired by now but i don't care i have paid a hefty price point for this and i'm going to use every single drop so next for my concealer i'm going to use this mac uh, studio fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer uh, now this was sent to me by mac anyways i'm just going to use this underneath my eyes because it has like a peachy tint so it helps to cancel out the darkness i usually go with nc but i think nw like looks good especially for my skin tone and i'm also going to like cover up some of my acne spots i hadn't actually used it like with full face of makeup so let's see how that works on my skin today and i'm going to blend this again as you all can see it cancels out my darkness so well and it also has like really good coverage i do have pigmentation around my mouth area and no matter what i do this pigmentation never goes away i don't know i have been like trying to get rid of it from so many years it's still there that and also my um, you know pigmented pigmentation on my lips these are the two problem areas that i have been struggling through many years and it's still there so if you guys have any uh, recommendations as to what i should do which helps me out do let me know in the comment section again this is my second time using it so actually i've only tried it like once uh without any makeup so i didn't know that much about it but i think it performs good i mean mac products in general are really good like mac always does amazing makeup products so i'm not surprised yeah that looks really nice my skin looks even toned right now and the coverage is amazing i love how my skin is looking right now okay, so next i'm going to use this pat mcgrath labs skin fetish sublime perfection concealer and i have the shade lm 13 and this shade definitely is way too light for my skin and i'm kind of mad about myself for not researching enough to buy the exact shade of my and that really sucks you guys because i have spent so much of money on this and i was hoping that i could use this a lot more but because of the shade match i'm not able to use it and again i'm going to use the concealer right over here and this helps to uh you know lighten that smile lines Other than the shade, the formula of this one is just amazing. So I like to blend my foundation and concealers with my brush first, and then I like to use use my makeup sponge to blend everything in. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do, and I'm mainly going to concentrate this right over here. also whatever is remaining i'll just like tap it right over here because i do have some redness okay actually i got this new mars sponge now i know i'm using all high end makeup but this sponge is really good it's i think it's only for like 200 250 something and this is so good look at the shade you guys it's actually very very pretty i have used mars sponges before and i always have got like pink ones you know but this particular shade is just so cute i love this color very much first i'm not going to blend out my concealer or anything i'm going to use this to kind of get rid of excess product from my eyebrows you know just like that okay 
So I'm going to be using my Anastasia's brow freeze. I have not used this enough on my camera. I think I've only used this once or twice. But behind the camera, I've used this so many times. And I absolutely love this product very much. I'm going to take a little bit of the product like that. Apply this and then go in backwards. Just so each and every single hair is coated with the gel. And then I'm going to brush my eyebrow hair up. Okay guys, so that's how my brows look like. So next I'm going to go in with my makeup sponge and I'll just like blend everything out. My base makeup looks good and if you have used any excess product this also removes the excess product and makes it look more natural. I mean I just love how my skin is looking right now. Wow. Okay guys so next for bronzer I'm going to be using this Chanel cream bronzer. Again I made like a real video on this so probably you would have already seen this and that's how the product looks like. I have used this you know I think five times now already and I love this product so much oh my god it smells so good you know the fact that even though this is expensive you get such huge amount here and I think this is going to last me like for a lifetime so the shade that I have in case you're interested it's 395 Soleil Tan Deep Bronze and I think this is their deepest bronze that they have so it is perfect look at that and I'm going to mention like the place where I got everything in my description box. So definitely check out my description for more details. I know blush is like so in right now. But for me, I'm always been a bronzer girl. And I can never like not use bronzer. It is so good. Especially when I'm going with like, you know, any glam looks. For me, bronzer is a must. Okay guys, uh, so next for my blush, I actually have the most viral blushes of all time. These are the Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes and I have the shade Joy. So this coral peachy tone is the shade called as Joy and this one is the shade called as Hope. So both the shades are really pretty and I love both the shades actually. But today I think I'm going to use the shade Hope. It just It's just like such a natural looking blush. I don't know if you can even see the blush properly. Look at that. It's there, okay? It's there, but you can't see it properly. And I also like to add like one drop on my forehead and also on my chin. I'm first going to blend this out. And if we want, we will go ahead and use a little more. But I think this should be enough. Look at that, you guys. It's so pretty. This just looks so good. Again, I have already made a shorts video, so you can watch it. And I just like it very much. So yeah, guys, that's how my skin looks like. It looks so nice and juicy and glowy. And now to set my makeup in place, I'm going to use this Huda Beauty's Easy Bake Loose Powder. And I have the shade Banana Bread. And also to set my makeup in place, I'm going to use this pack, um, you know, makeup puff. Once again, I'm going to blend everything out, especially my under eyes because I tend to crease a lot over here. And this puff is such a game changer for me because once I started using it, I cannot go back to anything else. It's so amazing. And I'm just going to you know apply whatever is remaining just on the rest of the face like that and look at that you guys it instantly like blurs my skin and gives such a good like airbrush effect i absolutely love this powder so much okay so moving on to eyes i actually have two eyeshadow palettes that i've never used on camera yeah one of them is my latest purchase so the first one we have is this one from patrick ta so this is the extra dimension 2 eyeshadow palette this is the outer packaging and recently, I also got some, you know, like new Pat McGrath makeup products. Yeah, this is a huge Lux box. 
and I just took out the palette. So, so I actually got this, uh, you know, Mothership Sublime, Mothership One, which is called as a subliminal eyeshadow palette. And this is the outer packaging. This is how big it is in front of the Patrick Tars palette. As I said, you know, at first I just wanted like one or two eyeshadow palettes from Pat McGrath. But once I used the palette and I just fell in love with the quality. And now I just want each and every single eyeshadow palette from her. It's so good. Especially these big eyeshadow palettes are just amazing. And that's how the shades look like. Definitely the star of this palette is this blue eyeshadow. So I have never seen such an intense, gorgeous blue shade ever. I don't know. I just feel like this, uh, you know, palette in itself, it's such a unique palette. Uh, first of all, all the shades in here are cool toned. I don't have that many cool tones in my collection. And that's what like sold me to this palette. And I have some blues in my collection, okay? But this has to be one of the prettiest blue shades I have seen. And I can't wait to use this. But for today, I think I'm going to use the Patrick Ta, um, you know, palette because this is just amazing. And again, this is how the palette looks like. Okay. And these shades definitely complement every skin tone. I think it's such a beautiful, like, very girly shade right over here. So this palette actually has, um, you know, some really good collection of shimmers and mattes. And here you have two cream shades as well. So you can use them as liners or as base, anything you want. So I'm going to do like a very cute look today. Okay, so first I'm going to take this shade. Huh, look at the shade, you guys. Like it just blends so easily and it's super pigmented. Wow, that is such a pretty shade. Okay, I'm going to take the same shade on my lower lash line as well. Then I'm also going to drag this shade a little bit on my outer corners. Just to give that elongated effect. Wow. Okay, so next I think I'm going to use this shade right over here. And I'm going to intensify you know, my outer corner. Every shade is blending in so well. So this palette definitely, hands down, is the best palette that I purchased last year. It's so good. Yeah, and this is definitely the palette of my dreams. Like, I never thought like I would find a good rosy pinky palette that I would love this much. And next I'm going to go in with this darkest brown shade with the same brush. And I'm going to intensify my outer corners even more. And look at that. Look at how intense and smoky this side looks. And I've only used a very tiny product. Like Patrick Ta does really amazing makeup. I also have his blush palette. It is just so good. I mean, he just kills it with the quality. And, and yeah, I just love his makeup so much. Like his style of makeup and also now his makeup products, they're just amazed. That's everything with mattes. So now I'm just going to use some shimmers. Every shimmer is just so good. My favorite has to be these two shades. So I'm going to use this, you know, like an orange rosy tone. Look at that. It's so good. Wow. This is such a pretty shade, you guys. Next, I'm actually going to take this um, shade and apply it on, you know, the front section of my eyes, just like that. So that it just like opens up. So I'm going to go back with the shimmer and just apply this on the centers. And again, I'm going to take the same shade on my lower lash line as well. And for me, I have noticed that every single shimmer shade just looks beautiful with finger application. Okay, so now I'm going to go back with this cream shade. I just hope it doesn't crease, you know. And I'm just going to apply this on my inner corners.
I haven't used any lenses today because one of my new year resolutions for this year is not to use lenses that much because lately I have been feeling like you know if I don't wear lenses I just don't feel like myself and I just want to use like you know makeup products that actually look good with my natural eye color okay guys, so that completes you know my eyeshadow application look at that it looks so pretty oh my god I just love this so much so next I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara to complete off my eyes. And uh, again curling my lashes has made a huge difference. And for my mascara I'm going to be using this Essence The False Lashes Mascara. Okay guys so actually the irony is you know I thought my mic was attached right over here i just placed far away from me while i was removing my jacket and i totally forgot about it i don't know how the recording went on but i hope it was okay okay guys so next i'm also do a little bit of a wing i just feel like you know for my eye shape a wing really looks pretty Okay, so that looks a little pretty, but still, as I said, you know, I'm not used to not wearing lenses. So I don't feel the best, but it's okay. We're going to get there. Uh, now moving on to my eyebrows, I'm going to use this Huda Beauty's micro shade brow pencil and this in the shade number six rich brown you know now i got this during the pink friday sale but the product that you get in here is so little and i don't want to finish this off because it's amazing so i'm actually saving this for some really good events okay so next i'm going to apply some powder blush and for that i'm going to be using this pat mcgrath's uh, divine blush um so i actually got this newer shade uh it's in the shade nude venus this packaging you know it just gets like fingerprint marks all over but anyways uh this is how the blush looks like this is a very pretty shade and you can use it on every single day as well so this also has a little bit of a sheen i don't know the first one didn't have like a sheen or anything it was just like a matte blush but this definitely has a little bit of a sheen as you all can see it's such a beautiful shade it's so muted down like with the previous one that i had the uh, you know paradise venus it was like too dark and these blushes are really pigmented so i i mean i always used to use more and then i used to struggle you know blending it in and making it a little subtle but this one is actually very pretty i'm also going to apply a little bit on my nose look at how pretty that is oh my god it's so good okay so now moving on to my lips i have these two products from Pat mcgrath as well so i actually got both of these for free uh they had some offer so here i have this mini pencil from Pat mcgrath and i have a full size lipstick from her so the pencil is in the shade living legend it's almost like a dark you know like a berry sort of a shade yeah so this is the lipstick that I got and look at the packaging of this you guys oh my god it's so good and you get this French door packaging which is always fun to open okay so that's how it looks this one it just feels so luxurious look at that and that's how the shade looks like I think they both are going to complement really well so this is the lip pencil and this is the lipstick so let's see how this looks just going to first line my lips Okay, so that's how the lip shade, you know, the lip liner looks like. I think the lip shade is going to be a little darker. And if I didn't already mention the shade name, this is actually in the shade Flesh 5. It just looks so pretty. And I'm going to apply. Ah, look at that, you guys. It's just like one swipe. And... Mm. You get full pigmentation.
I think this lip shade is a little too dark for me. So I'm going to mute it down with Huda Beauty's Cream Glow Lipstick and this in the shade Sweet Cheeks. It's a very pretty pink shade. Okay guys, so that completes my feel good makeup look using some new luxury makeup products. So I, if you like today's video, then definitely take a moment to like, share and subscribe. And I'm going to see you all next time. Bye guys.